at home with Lucas here. So today we're going to be talking about the Wise Lock. Yes, people, it's actually this lock right behind me right here. We're going to be installing it. We're going to go through all the different features. We're going to talk about is it something you should actually buy? Does it look good on your door? We're going to figure out all of that and more. So let's go ahead and jump into this wise lock. All right, let's take a close look at this bad boy. So up the top left, you have the name of the company, Wise. This is a lock and unlock with one touch. They're talking about that fingerprint sensor right there, people. It's got the keypad. There is an image of what's to come in the box right there. Here you have fast fingerprint unlocking. You have auto lock, which is gonna be awesome. Definitely am looking forward to that feature right there. You got the ability to do an emergency USB-C. We might never have to talk about that. Anti-peeping, that's awesome. Yes, their app is very easy. It's an outdoor item, so it's gotta be IPX5. One thing I'm going to say is this is definitely heavier than I would have thought. This has got a lot of weight to it. Of course, it's still in the box, but I was not expecting it to be this heavy. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Okay, first thing you see is the quick start guide right here. Definitely going to read through all that. Okay, of course I made the right choice. I bought Wise. Very cool. They give you a measuring tool and an ability to get it all lined up perfectly yes they give you double a batteries that's awesome all right let's take a closer look at the keypad itself okay this is the main thing that everyone is going to be looking at when they come to your house this is what's going to protect your house and keep you from being robbed by this device right here there is the fingerprint scanner right there you got the wise x lock-in <laughs> that's cool okay so these are a little bit mushy you have to push them down a little bit uh, more than i would have thought um, yeah that's kind of interesting you definitely have to give it a push it's not just gonna be an easy light push that is definitely more of a push um, at the bottom down here you have the usb port so if you have any problems go into that. I don't like how this is not like completely sealing back in. That's kind of strange. All right. Okay, let's talk about materials. So this is quite heavy, actually. This is actually very heavy. Um, the outside looks pretty uh, soft and smooth. It feels really soft and smooth. Looks like it's gonna be something that's gonna easy clean, which is awesome. Um, it, I guess it did go in all the way once I messed with it. There we go. Okay, and there's your battery indicator right there. Around the sides here, this is all super grippy, really grippy. All right, let's take a look at what the inside is gonna look like. This is actually very, very lightweight. This is the lightest part of it so far. And that's pretty much standard right there. And then there is your deadbolt on the inside. So that's how you're gonna to lock it from the inside manually. So if you want to just unlock it really quick and run out, it'll do the auto lock for you. And that's how you're gonna be doing it right there. This is a Wise X lock-in once again. Uh, this is, oh, this is plastic, okay. I was not expecting it to change materials. So on the inside, you're getting a plastic. Um, very interesting. Okay, all right. I think this might be made out of metal right here, but yeah, that's quite interesting. Okay, you have your open right here. I'm not sure if I was supposed to pull that out or not. <laughs> interesting, okay. Maybe that was just telling me, yeah, okay, that's just telling me you can put your thumb in here and open this back here. I won't do that unless I have to. This part right here is grippy rubber um, like the other part but yeah that's interesting I would have liked this to be metal as well um, usually when you buy door handles and deadbolts the inside is the exact same as the outside so the fact that this is all just flimsy plastic is a little bit annoying they may push back and say that this is how it connects to your Wi-Fi and you need this to be plastic I just thought of that 
Okay, so first impressions, uh, this is definitely heavier and more beefy than I would have thought. This is definitely flimsier and plastic, um, so it's kind of like I'm at odds right here. Okay, so step one is to remove your existing deadbolt. Okay, there we go. Got it fully removed. You can actually see outside. Okay, next up you're gonna be installing this. I don't like the fact that it's silver. This is a matte black unit. This should also be matte black. If you look at my door handle, this is uh, brushed nickel black and this is brushed nickel black. So the fact they're giving you a silver just doesn't make any sense. That's really tacky. Okay, that's what it looks like when the screws are fully locked in. Of course, you wanna make sure that you put the top on the top like I did there. Okay, so the dust box and plate are actually optional. This is designed to allow for the door to be closed in any sort of soft or hard way, and it'll still latch. Um, that way you'll never have it mislatch. My hole right here, this whole area is way too small. It will not hold this at all. So I'm actually opting out of it. And I may have to just cut through this metal a little bit to expand this hole so that the deadbolt can lock no matter what. Now we're gonna be installing the keypad assembly next. Okay, there's a brief look of it so far. Just sort of slapped on there. You do wanna run the wire underneath that deadbolt right there so the wire sticking out like this okay next you're going to be removing this plate from here so it looks like that okay now you're going to take these long screws put them in these two holes right here okay then you pull the wire through the bottom rectangle hole not through the circle hole and make sure that the wire is underneath the screws up here then you wanna tighten these up and you wanna alternate. So once this gets a little bit tight, you stop, you switch over to here. Once that gets a little bit tight, you stop, switch over to here. That way you get it completely tight and one side's not pulled in all the way and the other one's not pulled in all the way. So alternate back and forth. Okay, now you're gonna take off the cover. The little open is down here. You just peel it with your thumb. Now we'll go ahead and get this plugged in. So you basically just plug that cable right there directly into this slot right there. Okay, I just pinched it in with my fingernails and there's a line on the wire and a line on the plug and that's how you know you have it right. There's barely enough room to do this though. You're gonna have to be basically just like this and then you're gonna tilt this back, put it right through the hole like that. Now you put the tiny little screws into that hole and then into that hole. Okay, and you just wanna gently tighten this in and once again, go back and forth from the top until it feels a little bit snug and then go back to the bottom. And you're gonna see that it's gonna seal right here all the way around. So that's gonna tell you you've done it right All right, that's fully tightened in. Now you put the batteries in. There we go. Kind of funny to have batteries on your front door. Okay, now we're gonna jump into the Wise app, get this thing set up. So you're gonna hit your plus in the top left corner. You're gonna go add device. You're gonna click on home. And then you're gonna go down until you see I guess it's the top one, wise lock. Nope, there it is at the bottom, wise lock bolt. All right, we're gonna skip installation because we already did that. Okay, so we're gonna press and hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, I just heard a sound. Close my door and manual lock it, okay. Manual locked. All right, this is the front door. 
Okay, I'm gonna enter a code. Okay, I'm cleaning my finger right now. Okay, so this is very much like any fingerprint scanner. It wants to get all of the edges. There we go. All right, fully updated. Ooh, that was very interesting. I like how it shows you the time when the door was locked and unlocked. That is so cool. And also it shows you what it did. So I'm gonna lock it with my hand. There you go, manual, manual, very cool. Go ahead and jump into the settings really quick. You have the ability to do an auto lock. I'm definitely gonna turn that on. We're gonna go, I'm just gonna go auto lock five minutes. That sounds excessive, but I do know myself and I'll probably be running in and out of the house. <laughs> so five minutes is fine. Okay, ooh, you can get a one-time code, calibrate. Share device info, cool. Access setting, so this is how you set up a new user. Okay, now that everything is done, comes the most satisfying part is to cover up all this with this easy clip on. Wow, that went on so easily, look at that. All right, I'm actually gonna have to clean my door, it looks a little bit dirty, this thing is looking really nice. I like that so much. That really, it's almost easier than a normal deadbolt right there. Wow, very cool. All right, let's do the maiden voyage. We're gonna use my thumb to unlock it. And there we go, wow, just that easy. Okay, so I have this microphone right here. I'm gonna put it up next to the Wise lock just so you can hear the sound that it makes when you unlock it. So here we go. Now I'm not quite sure if that is doing that because it is, you know, working that hard and making all that noise or if that is an added feature so you can hear that the door has locked kind of like a sports car that pumps in fake engine noise i'm thinking that's probably what's going on here okay i got my ipad mini right here we're going to go ahead and do the deadbolt unlock and lock i just want to show you how quickly this actually works it's pretty surprising how quickly it works. It uses only Bluetooth, so it's not gonna use your Wi-Fi. So here we go, it's loading. There we go. So sometimes it'll take a little bit more time. Go ahead and unlock it, and then lock it. Okay, let's talk about the fingerprint sensor. So this thing has really kicked butt. It is absolutely amazing. The only thing I've noticed is if you don't really get your finger super scanned, if I come at this angle over here, which I don't do all the time, it's actually gonna say that's not my thumb. So I must have missed that part of my thumb. If I come straight at it like that, it works perfectly. So then we'll go ahead and lock it again. The cool thing is if you've unlocked it with your fingerprint, then you're gonna be able to lock it by pressing that lock button. So that's really cool. That's one way to do it. Another way is to put in your pin code and then hit the lock button or the unlock button. Um, but there you go. Most of the time it works. What you can do is, is do multiple fingers, multiple thumbs, if you will. So you can do two fingers and you can really just work it all over the place, get some crazy angles. I haven't even tried to use any other finger but my thumb seems to work perfect. So I'm gonna give this fingerprint scanner a nine out of 10. It's absolutely amazing. It does a phenomenal job. We actually haven't even put in our pin code yet. Um, we haven't even needed to because this thing is laser fast, super awesome. Okay, so the keypad is actually really nice. I do actually like the fact that it is a little bit stiff when you push the keys. That just, there's something about it that's really premium. I like how it lights up in the back. You have that backlit, so if you're doing this at night, you're gonna be able to see exactly what's going on, which is really, really cool. Um, so definitely like the keypad. 
Okay, I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full star rating for you guys. And let's just start off with the look of this. So we've had several people over to our house and they've commented on this immediately. And they said, wow, that is very, very stylish and it looks really cool. And these are people that don't really need to tell us uh, anything like that. They don't need to give us praise. They just literally saw it and were like, I actually want to have one of those on my house. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's like the perfect size, super easy to clean. I've gotten a little bit of dust up top here and I've just literally wiped it right off. It looks good with this brushed metal door handle down here. So if you do already have a black door handle or a brushed metal one, it's gonna blend in perfectly and look seamless. Um, really, I haven't had any problems at all. The fingerprint scanner is what we use nine times out of 10. The only thing I wish is that this thing had Bluetooth to where if you walked up close enough to it, it would unlock it from your phone. That would be absolutely amazing. Or if they did like a Tesla where you have a little key card that you put in your purse or your wallet and it allowed you to just walk up to this and have Bluetooth and have it turn on and off. That would just be super, super awesome. But yeah, we've had zero problems with this device. It works exactly as you'd want it to. I think it got two updates so far and it's definitely improved the ability to connect to it from the app. It really does connect fast now and it's really awesome. And the ability to set a, a keypad for say, you know, your house cleaner or, you know, someone who's coming to babysit your kids, then it disappears after a certain amount of time. I do still kind of wish that this was not silver i think it's just a little bit funky if you look down here this is what came with my doorknob it's uh the same color and that's just a little um something that they could update in the future make this black to match the keypad out front i think this is from their brushed metal keypad that they have so i think they're just basically using this and they haven't updated it yet but um yeah, love the sound it makes too. It's such a nice, simple sound. My dog has actually gotten so used to the sound that when I was editing this video, when I was editing this video, uh, my dog kept barking thinking someone was coming in because of the sound it makes. Coming on the inside here, I have no worries and no problems with this being plastic. I know that the Bluetooth has to travel through this plastic and I'm glad that it travels through quickly. I love the ability to just turn this deadbolt. It's super seamless, super easy. One thing I did do that I didn't film is I actually put on this bad boy right here. I had to chip away at the wood and expand this out. This came actually with the deadbolt that I put on the back door. It was up here. This came with it um, and I never used it, but I finally gave in and just used a flathead screwdriver actually and just kind of chiseled away at it. I think it looks really good and it's very, very sturdy. Okay, so all in all, I'm gonna give this thing a solid 4.8 star rating. I'm gonna say that it's almost five stars. I think if they fixed this and made it to where it was the same color as the front keypad and this back here and made it black, that would be awesome. I think if they updated the app to where you can walk up near this thing and it would unlock for you and then lock for you. I think that could be really cool if they could figure out something to do on that end. But other than that, other than those two things, this is a phenomenal buy. Highly recommended to everyone out there. Buy it. Okay, one thing I absolutely love to do is to repurpose old things. So this is from the front door. I just took it off and I actually don't have the same on the back door. So I bought a single door without the deadbolt. It was cheaper that way. And now I'm gonna be able to repurpose this onto here and get rid of another ugly looking piece of hardware. So let's go ahead and swap that. Okay, and just like that, we have a matching set, top and bottom, deadbolt works perfectly. Everything looks solid on the outside. Throw that old junky stuff away. Absolutely love repurposing stuff, it's so cool. 
Okay, there you go. That is the wise lock right there. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was entertaining and informative. If you like this video, definitely clearly clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 6K. Yes, people, on my way to 7K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.